Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be solving this problem called validating Roman numerals. So we'll be playing around with Roman numerals. Uh, you are given a string and you have to validate whether it's a valid Roman numeral or not. If it is valid, we have to print true. Otherwise, we have to print false. Try to create a regular expression for a valid Roman numeral. So we have to validate whether uh, the given string is Roman numeral or not. A single line of input containing a string of Roman characters like this here you can see and the output line saying true or false according to the instruction above. The number will be between 1 and 3999 both included 1 and 3999. So regular expressions are the key for uh, these you can study which is um, same as before uh, these are docs of a regular expression uh, so you can see the link the same links are there so our concern is uh, more of a, a roman numeral thing so roman numeral if i'll search in wiki there are few things you have to take care about uh, it is not as uh, as straightforward as it may think so people are aware of 1 to 12 because we see this uh, in our clock 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 uh, but uh, there are other letters as well which are useful uh, and uh, to represent the bigger numbers so these are very important first thing so i represent 1 v represent 5 x represent 10 l represent 50 c represent 100 d represent 500 5 m represent 1000 so this is uh, the uh, overall uh, letters means these many letters are used in roman numerals now you are aware of this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 uh, which are in clock but the main thing you have to focus is 4 and 9 so 4 could have been written for this 4 could have been written in this fashion but there are a lot of uh, uh, means like symbol you are using instead a better representer short representation or better representation is this okay this is read as 1 less than 5 so you can see 5 is there which is v so this 5 is representing uh, this v is representing 5 and this one is representing subtraction minus 1 so 5 y minus 1 becomes 4 altogether this happens with 4 and 9 only so 9 is same as 1 less than 10 so 10 is x and this will be x minus 1 all the time it is adding only but for 4 and for um, 9 uh, just to reduce the the le symbols less symbols should be used uh, for that purpose you are doing this okay so that's where the difference comes so it's not as straightforward uh, like you keep on adding one then one more uh, symbol uh, you added i so it becomes two three then four like this so he, from here only it is being generated but special cases are four and nine okay uh, then other common uses are years uh, so mostly you will be uh, seeing this uh, used in years representing years so here you can see mcm signifies a thousand and a hundred less than one thousand so m you can see here is thousand so you might read like 1000 plus 100 is 1100 plus 1000 so it will become 2100 so but that is not true uh, you have to represent in in uh, in uh, in uh, this fashion like subtraction fashion so how why it is doing that because of this nine thing 19 is coming no so how it is read this is 1000 and this is 1000 minus 100 so 1000 plus 1000 minus 100 is 1900 so that is what it means a thousand and a hundred less than another thousand so that is how you are representing similarly 1912 will be represented with mcm will be there because 1900 is there then 12 is represented okay after that 12 is there so uh, centuries uh, for 2022 you have you can represent in this fashion so you can see thousand plus two thousand uh, 1000 plus 1000 2000 then 10 then 10 so it becomes 20 uh, so 2020 then 2 
okay 2022 it becomes so that is what uh, it is uh, then you can see the table this is very important in uh, thousand position you can put m mm or mmm okay because uh, uh, the the range is uh, uh, 399 okay so this first thousand guys can go till 3000 only uh, so that is uh, why uh, uh, you can have only m m or mm uh, m okay so thousand two thousand three thousand uh, why it is represented largest it is represented is this uh, because uh, we don't require uh, i don't know more than this uh, that is what being said so our range is also like this here one two three nine 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 so since largest roman numeral likely to be required today is uh, this guy so there is no practical need of larger roman numerals that's the reason they are giving so maximum you are going till here so this can be represented you can see these are 3000 then this is what uh, this is 1000 uh, minus, uh, minus 100 that is 900 so 3000 900 this becomes 90 cx means 100 minus 10 90 then this 9 okay so this happens only for especially for this 4 and 9 then uh, similarly you can see at 100 position you can have 100 200 300 400 which is uh, 500 minus 100 is 400 then 500 you can see d is 500 d is 500 then uh, 600 700 800 when 900 it is 1000 minus 100 similarly in tens position you can have 10 20 30 then 500 uh, 5, uh, 50 minus 10 is um, 40 then 50 60 70 80 then 90 is 100 minus 10 and these guys are 50 plus 10 50 plus 20 50 plus 30 like this because l represent 50 similarly you have here as well in unit position 1 2 3 5 minus 1 4 5 6 7 8 and then 9 is 10 minus uh, 1 okay so that is 90 uh, 9 so here you can see numerals for 4 and 9 are written in subtractive notation uh, whereas uh, first symbol is subtracted from the larger one thus to avoid come clumsier this type of representation okay so uh, is used for this also used for 40 90 400 900 uh, for then these are the only subtractive forms in standard use so you have to just take care of these guys in in your program that's all okay so that's the only uh, important thing now how, how i'm gonna implement it so you can see it is not easy to represent to tell the program that for these guys you do subtractive type of uh, notation and for other guys you you do uh, uh, normal type of addition like here you can see 39 is this 30 plus 9 then 246 is 200 plus uh, 40 is uh, l um, l uh, x which is 50 minus uh, 10 so here you have to tell the program that you should not do x x x x four times to make it 40 uh, so it becomes difficult for for um, implementation so what i did is i implemented this table directly that's all that's all i did so in hundreds place uh, thousands place you can have this hundred place you can have this tens place this and units place this uh, that's how it will become uh, in the will be in the range so let's do that m m m m m m okay so in code what is given to us uh, they have already written the print statement we just have to provide the regex pattern here so here the pattern will be there then here input will be there so it will uh, compute it and then calculate the boolean whether it is true or false and it will print with a string converting into string so that is what you are seeing here so uh, you know we don't have to do anything here we just have to provide the regex expression so let's start the expression so starting means like this and then what i'll do is i'll keep a bracket inside this i'll have m 
एम कैन बी आइदर जीरो वन टू और थ्री राइट यर यू कैन सी यू कैन आइदर हैव अ जीरो दैट मीन्स इट इज़ नॉट थाउजेंड नंबर इट इज मोर ऑफ अ सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड टाइप ऑफ नंबर सो दैट विल मीन एम इज़ नॉट देयर सो जीरो यू कैन कंसिडर जीरो अकरेंस और वन अकरेंस और टू अकरेंस और थ्री अकरेंस सो आई कैन राइट इन साइड करली ब्रेसिस जीरो कॉमा थ्री सो वॉट दिस मीन्स आइदर एम कुड एग्जिस्ट एट दिस थाउजेंड पोजिशन और एम कुड बी वन एम कुड बी टू एम कुड बी थ्री ओके दैट इज वॉट इट मीन्स जीरो टू थ्री देन आई विल टेक अनदर ब्रैकेट इन साइड दैट आई विल राइट दीज ऑल थिंग्स दीज ऑल थिंग्स so c could be c could be 0 to 3 same or or means like this or you can have a c c c c c c that will be covered by this guy okay or you can also have zero here no c or you can have a c d d and then c d or d then you can have dc dcc dcc okay dc then you can have dc dcc dccc okay so this is what you can have at uh, at uh, hundreds position so position wise i am doing from left side i started i filled uh, for uh, this is for thousand purpose and then this is for hundreds place okay c can be 0 1 2 3 then c d could be there uh, d could be there d c could be there all these things i have put here in with air or then c m at last we have c m c m so this is my hundredth position now i'll use for tenth position so x x x x x x So what I'll do? X, I'll do zero to three. Then or you can have x x x x x x l or l x l or l or l x or l x x or l x x x. Right. This is what we have. L, L X, L X X, L L X, L X X, L X X X. And finally, we have X C. Finally, we have X C. So this is my hundred position. And finally, I'll write tenth position. Tenth position is what I. So I could be between zero to three. Zero to three, or you can have V. Uh, I V, I V, or you can have I uh, V, or you can have V I, or you can have V I I, or you can have V I I I, or you can have X I. Right. So all these things I X. Sorry. I X nine. So that will be that whole thing we have written. So M can have either there could not be any a uh, thousand position and there could not be anything. Uh, uh, there there could be M M M M M M or nothing. Zero means nothing. Okay. So that will means hundreds number five hundred four hundred three hundred. And uh, when there will be more than a uh, thousand or thousand, then uh, M will appear here. Okay, then M M M or M, according to that. So this is your thousand position. Then all these we have written everything which is here in this column. We have written here for hundreds position. Same thing I did for tens position, and last I did for hundred uh, tens uh, uh, units position. And then finally, what I'll do is I'll end the uh, pattern. Right, so this will be my simple regex pattern, and let's run it. 
so sample test cases are passed all the test cases are passed done so you can see it is much more simpler if i could have uh, done some arithmetic type of thing and uh, trying to represent uh, these guys and uh, these guys uh, specifically for 900 400 40 th that could be done but this is much more easier because you have the source here you just have to copy this thing and here using regex that's all so this this is what uh, some most simplest thing i can uh, explain in so this was the program regex you can see so much powerful regex is uh, now let's move on to the next problem